Hi everyone, welcome back to the full OLO Made Easy video series. Today we'll be going through the W shapes and the C shapes. So starting off with the W shapes, there's actually two different cases you can get and they're mirror images of each other. So there's the standard right hand case and then you can also get the left handed case here. And so to recognize which one you have, you want to actually hold the W shape so that it kind of looks like an M. Next up, you want to hold this attached 2x1 yellow either on the left or the right side. So in this case, I'm holding it on the right side and so this is the right handed W case. You don't want to be holding this at the front. You also don't want to be holding it here as well because you want the top colors to form more of an M shape, not a W. In this case, this will be the right orientation to hold it. Now that we got the orientation right, it's time for the algorithm. So for this particular algorithm, it's actually a lot easier to track where this F2 or pair goes rather than actually remembering the moves. So it starts off by taking the F2 or pair out into this position like this. You want to move the F2 or pair all the way to the back and you want to now move the F2 or pair all the way back around in a way that sets up a sledgehammer. So to do that, we start off like this, move the F2 or pair back over and that sets it up into this position where we can go into a sledgehammer and that solves that OLO case. So moving over to our left handed case, we recognize it by the M on the top layer and the 2 by one bar this time will be on the left side. So exactly the same algorithm as I showed previously, but in this case it will be done with our left hand. And so we'll be focusing on the F2 pair on the left side. So it starts off once again exactly the same by taking the F2O pair out and then moving it to the back. Next we want to move the F2O pair all the way back around in a way that sets up a sledgehammer like this. And that once again sets up the sledgehammer. We go into the sledge and that solves that OLO. So for those of you who are not a fan of using left handed algorithms, then you can actually mirror this to the back right angle and use your right hand. So in this case, simply by doing a U2, we've mirrored it to the back right angle and now our focus is on this back right F2L pair. So same idea as previously, but just done from a different angle. So in this case, we can take this F2L pair out, move it over to the front this time. And now we want to set up a back sledge. And now we do the back sledge. And so in this case, we do need to do a bit of a regrip. So I like to do the back sledge with a regrip on my left hand, like this. That also solves that OLO case, but just from the back right angle. So next up, moving on to the C shapes. Once again, there are two different cases. So this one here is the first case where we have the C on the top layer and the three by one bar on the right. And so this is how we want to hold this case. And so the algorithm is actually quite short and easy to remember. So it starts off with an R prime followed by a U prime. After that, you do a sledgehammer on the right side and then you undo the setup moves with a U followed by an R and that solves that OLO case. And finally, we have this C shape here. So similar to the previous case, we also have the C on the top layer, but in this case, we do not have that three by one bar. The yellows are instead a bit more spread out around the sides. Now for this case, we actually wanna hold it so that the C is facing you at the front. Now there's a couple of different algorithms that are pretty good for this case. So the one that's easiest to remember would be the one I'm about to show you. So it starts off with a sexy move like this. You follow that up with a B prime move and now you do a sledgehammer and then you end off with a B move like this. So the finger tricks on that algorithm are not as nice but it is rather easy to remember. However, if you're looking for a faster algorithm, then this RUF algorithm that I'm about to show you is definitely a better option. So this algorithm starts off with an R followed by a U. Following that, we got the R2, U prime, R prime. And now we follow up with F, R, U, R, U prime, and the final F prime can be done with your ring finger down here. 
and this is a much faster algorithm, not as easy to remember, but a lot quicker and much nicer finger tricks compared to the previous algorithm. Alright guys, so that's it for the OLO algorithms for the W shapes and the C shapes. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions about anything in this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Or you can message me on social media, links to those will also be in the video description. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.